Hello everybody, it's me, Heather, and today I am going to bleach my hair platinum blonde. So I was blonde off and on for about a decade, and for the past two years I've been brunette slash redhead, and I finally decided I'm ready to go back to being blonde, but not just blonde, platinum blonde. So I wanted to give you guys a video that helps you out with that in case it's something you want to try too. Um, I'm just going to start off right now by saying I have really bad allergies. So there's probably going to be a lot of jump cuts in here. Um, I'm trying not to sniffle a lot, trying not to rub my nose so I don't gross you guys out. Um, I'm a little short of breath since I can't really breathe through my nose. I'm having to speak a lot and breathe through my mouth a lot. So just a heads up if I seem a little off in this video. I just have allergies, but this is also one of those days where this is when I'm doing this and I want to shoot this video now. All right, so let me show you everything I'm going to be using. So, and I'll talk about each item as we go along when I'm actually using them because there's just so many things here that I don't want this to be a really long video for you guys. I'm going to do a lot of editing and jump cuts and all kinds of fun stuff. All right, so first off, you're going to want a tint bowl. All right, you're going to want a tint brush. Oh, I like how you can see my little reflection in there. There you go. Here's a measuring cup. If you have long hair, you're going to want clips to separate your hair. I don't have long hair anymore, but I used to use these when I did. You're going to want a processing cap or just a shower cap, you know, just one. Latex gloves. One pair will do. Latex gloves. Here's the fun stuff, the chemicals. All right. I am using 40 cream developer. 40 cream developer. All right. Here's the actual bleach. It's in a bag. This is L'Oreal Super Oreal Blanc. This is the actual bleach. All right, I'm also going to be using a lightning activator. Lightning activator. Here's a purple shampoo that I'll be using. Purple shampoo. Here is a yellow out conditioner. This is from Bantu. So Soft Sheen Carlson Professional Bantu. This is actually more of an ethnic product. Not everyone is going to want to use this. I'll talk more about it later. All right, another cream developer. This one's going to be 20. 20. Volume, 20 volume cream developer. All right, this is Wella Color Charm. This is um, a permanent liquid hair color. Permanent liquid hair color. And this is in the shade, and I'll bring this in so you guys can get the information. This is in shade 12A slash 1210 or Frosty Ash. And this is from Wella Color Charm. And then here's... This is from Jerome Russell. This is punky color, and I want you to see it's a very, very, very light lavender color. And this is your platinum blonde toner. And again, I'll whoops, sorry, bring that in so you guys can get all that information. All right, so these are all the products I'm going to be using. Um, I don't use all these products every single time, but it, I'm in a special situation now because, first off, um, I'm a natural brunette, obviously, but I'm a very dark brunette. I'm not quite black. Hair color's not quite black. I think I'm like half a shade away from black. So I'm a very, very, very dark brown. So I require a very high volume to get all the natural pigment out of my hair. Okay, so I just want to throw this out there really quickly. I am not a licensed cosmetologist. I am not a professional hair designer. So if this is your very first time ever bleaching your hair, I do actually recommend you go to a professional the very first time. Um, you're going to find a lot of professionals will tell you it cannot be done. Um, there will be a lot of them that are apprehensive about doing it. Shop around until you find a hair designer who is confident in their ability to bleach your hair. If they do exist and there are people who will do it that know what they're doing. Anybody who's afraid to do it, doesn't have a lot of experience with it, is not very good with it, has had bad experiences with it. So shop around. If you're bleaching your hair for the very first time, I recommend let a professional do it and really pay attention to how they're doing it, what they're using, ask questions as they're going along. And also, you know, do your research, watch a lot of YouTube videos, you know, ask friends, do what you can if you want to do this yourself. The reason I do it myself now is because um, it can be extremely expensive to keep this up if you want to be platinum blonde. And learning how to do it yourself will save you a lot of money in the long run. So all of these items together that I showed you that I'll be using 
You can purchase at Sally Beauty Supply. You can purchase um, these things at your local um, beauty supply. And all this together costs only around $50, maybe $60 total. So I think it was more around the $50 mark. And if you go to a professional every month, you'll be, depending on where you go, a lot of people will charge you upwards of like $100 plus a month to maintain this. Where a lot of this stuff I'm going to be able to use again and again and again and again. And it was just an initial $50 investment, so, you know. Um, first off, you want to start off with clean, dry hair. Um, I do not recommend washing your hair beforehand. If you're going to wash your hair, wash your hair the day or the night before. And then the next day, do your hair bleaching, do this process on dry, clean hair then. Don't wash it right before. My tint bowl. I'm going to take my tint brush. I'm going to take a pair of gloves. I'm going to take my measuring cup. I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. Bleach is pretty toxic. I'm not even going to lie. Like I said, this stuff is removing the natural pigment, and in my case, also artificial coloring for my hair. So people, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, I'm going to dye my hair blonde, and I'm like, no, you're going to bleach it. <laughs> because, and when you're bleaching your hair, you're you're taking pigment away. When you're dyeing or tinting your hair, you're adding pigment. So I'm going to, you know, if I want to be platinum blonde, i got to remove a lot of my natural pigment. So this is pretty brutal stuff. So I prefer to wear gloves because if you get this stuff on your skin, you will not melt. But if you leave it on there and it dries, it can get really itchy. It can irritate your skin. I've been there, done that. Um, I'm wearing my dyeing shirt, as you can tell. <laughs> Past bleach stain on here. All right, so I'm going to take my cream developer. I'm taking Strength 40. This is recommended for dark brown to black hair. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but this is what I'm using. All right, I'm going to take my measuring cup. This is in ounces and milliliters. I'm going to start off with just two ounces. I'm starting off with just two ounces. Okay, that looks like a lot, doesn't it? All right, I'm starting off with two ounces. Of 40 cream developer and the way you mix this is you want your bleach and you want your cream developer to be two to one so I'm using two ounces one bag of bleach okay so I'm gonna pour this in and really try to get as much in there as I can I think that's actually probably gonna be enough for my head sorry guys I'm gonna make sure you can see that's probably going to be enough for my head. All right, here's my bleach. This is L'Oreal Super Oreal Blanc. I like this one because if you want to go platinum blonde, really blonde, this will lift your hair. And by lift, I mean take the pigment out. This will lift your hair up to seven levels. So it's pretty. that's pretty extreme. And it's going to pour that entire bag in there, the entire bag. Don't try to save it for later. Just use the whole thing if you want it to work. So put that in there. All right, that's everything. And make sure when you're bleaching your hair that you're in a very well ventilated area because this can get kind of humus. All right, this is something I'm using this time. I will not be using it next time I'm doing my hair. This is a lightning activator. This is from Clairol. This is seventh stage instant whip, ultra blue, born blown. And what this does is basically this is just going to kick up the bleach a notch. And this will help it to lighten an additional two levels. So, yeah. <laughs> just because I have, you know, naturally dark hair as well as I still have some color in my hair, some red pigment. So these are pretty hard pigments to get out. So you have all this right in there, and we're just going to mix that now. You just take your little brush and mix it until it's kind of the consistency of, it's going to be kind of, what am I trying to say? It's kind of moussey. This one can be kind of moussey, this texture. And as bleach warms up on your head, it also expands. And, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Sorry, guys, I'm all over the place. Make sure whatever bleach you use is safe to use on your scalp. There's stuff that says on scalp safe or, 
you know, off scalp and on scalp. You want to make sure you use stuff that's okay for on your scalp, obviously. Because some of them are strictly for just applying to the lengths of your hair and it expands up to almost your scalp. So just want to make sure you don't burn the shit out of your scalp using the wrong bleach. But yeah, so I'm going to apply this. This is the texture you want. It's kind of moussey, kind of thick, but it's definitely stirred up quite well. Let me grab a little mirror here. And I'm going to put this all over my hair. So I'll probably jump cut this part. Here we go. Okay, so now I have my hair completely saturated. I'm going to take a processing cap or shower cap and just put that on here. There we go. And the reason you want to do that is this will help to trap in heat, the natural heat from your head, and heat will make this process faster. So what I like about this particular bleach is it does not have a set time per se. It just says to Allow bleach mixture to remain on hair until a desired degree of lightness is achieved. So I can leave this is a for a bleach that lifts seven that yeah, for a bleach that lifts up to seven levels, it's actually rather gentle. Um I do not find this bleach to burn my scalp. It does obviously get a little hot because that's processing and as the bleach expands with the heat, it does tingle a little, but it feels kind of good so I don't this one does not hurt in my opinion but I also don't have particularly sensitive skin or scalp so a um, few words on bleach is when you apply this you want to saturate your hair don't put it on sparingly you have to saturate your hair you have to really cover it up goop it on slap it on like put it on really thick on top of that and I should have brought the tint brush it's okay on top of that um, when you do this, some people recommend combing it through. Do not do that. If you have long hair, do not comb bleach through. That is going to tear your hair up so bad because this makes your, you know, this is opening up the shafts of your hair, pulling out the natural pigment. It makes your hair very vulnerable, very prone to breakage. Makes it, um, a lot of people during that process, your hair has the texture kind of like bubble gum. So if you pull on it, it just makes it so weak. So just don't do it. So if you have, long hair, if you have short hair, saturate the hair with the bleach and then go through it with your tint brush and go in opposite directions. Like first if you paint it all on this way in one direction, go back the opposite direction. Then go from right to left, go left to right, go like make sure it gets in everywhere. So I'm going to leave this on until it is super, 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 super duper bright yellow or even almost white. Um, like I said, so usually I only need to leave this on about anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes. It's been a long time since I've done this, so I'm not sure of the time frame anymore. It might be in between that, about 40, 45 minutes. We'll see. So before um, I rinse out and go to the next step, I'll show you what it looks like, and I'll be back when it's ready. It's been about 15 minutes now, so I just want to check in and show you guys what it's looking like, what's happening. So you can already see my very dark hair is already quite yellow. Now is also a good time to take your tint brush, as I was saying before, and I'm going to do this more thoroughly in an actual stand-up mirror, but you definitely want to look in the mirror from all angles. And you want to check and make sure there are no areas that are not covered by the bleach. Because it starts to expand. So you want to make sure everything still stays covered and saturated. Because as it expands, some stuff stops being covered up. And then, of course, if it doesn't have bleach on it, it's not going to get bleached. All right. I'll be back when this is to my desired color of lightning. And, yeah. 
see you guys in a bit. It has been 45 minutes total now, so I think my hair is probably about as blonde as it's going to get for now. So let's go ahead and take a look. So, sorry, I'm using my viewfinder. I keep forgetting to like keep the mirror over here because I keep moving it to the bathroom and coming back here. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is pretty, pretty, pretty light right now. And you can also test it just by streaking like that with your finger and taking a look. Yeah, that definitely does not look black or <laughs> red anymore, does it? So, yeah, I think we're doing good there. So now I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hair. I'm going to go ahead, or first I'm going to rinse it with as cool of water as I can stand. I don't want to rinse it with cold water because that's going to give me a headache. So lukewarm to cold water, just, you know, don't give yourself brain freeze. Just that you do want to keep it as cool as possible. Do not use hot water. Do not use warm water. Use lukewarm, which means barely warm water to very cold water. And then after I've rinsed it out, I'm actually going to go ahead and shampoo my hair twice in this case, just because this is really strong bleach, and bleach does make your hair very porous. So I want to make sure I'm getting all those chemicals out. Um, I'm going to use Shiny Silver Ultra Conditioning Shampoo. You can get this at Sally Beauty Supply. And this is a purple shampoo. I'm going to use a purple shampoo because this is going to help get it. Because we can see, like, if it's really brassy, if it looks really coppery or yellow anywhere, this will help to reduce that. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hair with this twice. And then you want to, I'm going to go ahead and condition. I'm not going to deep condition yet. You'll probably want to deep condition. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and use this conditioner. This is Soft Sheen Carlson Professional. This is Bantu Yellow Out Conditioner. This is honestly, this is an ethnic hair product. This is actually meant for uh, people who have ethnic hair, you know, African American, for example, that's very thick and coarse naturally. And as their hair naturally grays or becomes white with age, we have a tendency to get yellow or brassy in our hair naturally, and we can use this to help get that brassiness, that yellow, out of our hair. Um, so I'm actually going to be using this, and we're not done. We've got more to do. So let's see what this looks like once I get all this rinsed out and conditioned out. I'll be back. Rinsed out the bleach, shampooed it twice, and also conditioned it. So this is what my hair looks like so far. I'm really, really, really pleased with this result. This looks very, very light. Um, there's th it's still a little bit wet, and luckily it won't take very long for my hair to dry. Um, before we move on to the next part, I do want my hair to be dry. So once my hair is completely dry, it will take a little longer to dry, simply because I did just bleach. It makes your hair really porous, and so and when you rinse it and condition it, it's going to stay wet longer than usual. So some people will blow dry it if you're going, if you, obviously if you have longer hair than I do, and you don't want to wait for it to air dry because it's going to take hours, you could go ahead and blow dry it, but definitely use heat protectants, use some kind of heat protectant spray, or um, don't use a heavy serum, but use something lightweight, you know, that'll help condition your hair while you're drying it. So. I'm going to take a little bit of time and let my hair dry naturally. Um, I'm probably going to wait about an hour, but once I come back, we'll move on to actually turning this blonde into platinum blonde. Really liking these results so far. Can't wait to show you guys the rest. Okay, so it's been about an hour. My hair is completely dry now. So now it's time to move on to turning this yellow into platinum. So you're going to need, again, a tint bowl or just a bowl and a tint brush. I'm going to be using gloves, measuring cup, and we're going to use developer again, but I'm going to use a lower level of developer. This is your volume 20 developer. This one's from L'Oreal. This one's their Oreor Oreor cream. That is so hard for me to say. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to use permanent liquid hair color. Um, this also comes in cream form. At my beauty supply, they have the liquid, so I'm just going to use the liquid. Um, either one's fine. And I'll put this in here up close so you can see. Frosty Ash, shade 12A or slash 1210 from Wella Color Charm. And 
That's what we're going to use. So again, you mix this two to one. <clears throat> Sorry, here's my developer. So I'm going to use two ounces of the 20 developer. Two ounces. Now, we're going to open up the color charm. It's just a little bottle like this. I'm going to go ahead and give that a good shake. They always recommend giving these a good shake. You never know if certain elements of the product settle from sitting in the store waiting to be bought. But here we go. So just twist that off and turn that so you can see it one more time. And pour that in the bowl. All of it. Pour it all in. So it's going to be kind of, for now, it's just kind of the yellow color. I'm going to mix this up. Oops, I knew. I don't have enough room here to put everything. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. So when you first pour it in, it's very liquidy. So you can stir that for a moment until it gets a little less so liquidy. So it's it's not going to solidify, but now it's becoming more like a jelly. And I know it's really hard for you to see, but I don't want you guys, I don't want to spill this all over my computer. That would not be good. So I'm just going to mix that for a moment. All right, and I think the rest speaks for itself. Because this is a hair color and not a toner, I can leave this on much longer. I can leave this on 30 to 40 minutes. So, and this should help to take out some of the yellow. So in this case, I'm actually, or excuse me, not take out, but in this case, I'm actually adding color. I'm no longer bleaching. I'm adding color. And then if there's still some brassy tones afterwards, that's when we're going to finally use our toner. So there's a third step after this. Okay, this is a nice jelly texture now. So you can see if I lift my brush out of here, it's got that, it literally looks like jelly. <laughs> Doesn't look like jelly I want to eat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start applying this. Oh, I forgot this step, and I almost forgot again. I've had allergies. Like I said, my nose is running a lot less now. Still got the sniffles a little. You do want to go ahead and take some petroleum jelly and put that along your hairline and on the tops of your ears, around the base of your neck, so you don't have to deal with the bleach irritating those areas of your skin because I actually forgot to do that before. So I'm going to do that really quick and let me get okay. Now I'm going to start applying my jelly, my hair color. So this is what it looks like after you've applied all the hair color. It's, I'm not sure how well it's reading on camera. It's very gray purple, which is what you want. Purple on the color wheel is going to counteract yellow. So that's what's going to turn that yellow or just even out that yellow and turn it into white. So give us that platinum blonde. So I'm going to leave this on probably only about 30 minutes. You can leave it on up to 40 minutes. I'm probably going to leave it on only about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to rinse it out, and I'm going to go ahead and deep condition. I'm going to use Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. That will be good for me. And then we're going to move on to actually using a toner. And I'll talk more about that when we get to it. See you guys in 30 minutes. I have rinsed out the hair color. I deep conditioned. And this is the result. I am very happy with this. This is definitely where I want it to be. And I'm actually okay not even using a toner on this. This looks quite nice. The yellow is definitely gone. This is definitely a platinum blonde. But I'm going to go ahead and use this just to kick it up a notch. This is um, Jerome Russell Punky Color. And this is the Platinum Blonde Toner. So a lot of people like to use Manic Panic Virgin Snow. That's fine as well. And the way you want to use this is you want to shampoo your hair and towel dry. 
So I've already rinsed my hair out and I've towel dried it. So it's a little bit damp, not completely dry. You want to go ahead and you're not supposed to save this for later, unfortunately. Tempting, but no, not supposed to save it for later. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and just dump it in this bowl. It'll be easier for me to work with. And if I need more, I can just try to dig my brush in or something. So you could use your hands and just slather it on, or you can use my favorite thing, a tint brush. And you're just going to paint this on all over. You can leave this on 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this on probably about 30 minutes. This is like a conditioning semi-permanent hair color. And again, this is just going to help tone down any brassiness. Purple takes out any yellow. So this is just my insurance that I have a really nice finish to my hair now. All right. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes for the absolute final result. So here we have the final result. So the Jerome Russell Punky Color Platinum Blonde Toner, gosh, all these long names are so hard to remember. It did pull a bit lavender to my hair, but I like it. I think it's actually a really nice, like it warms up my complexion a little bit more than just being straight up white platinum. But um, I'm going to be washing my hair rather frequently and deep conditioning pretty much every day because that's just the lifestyle I live, and this toner will fade. So if you try this toner and it pulls way too purple for you, then just don't use it. <laughs> but if you do use it and, like I said, it just comes out too purple, um, just wash your hair a couple of times, you know, throughout the week, and it will fade to just a regular platinum as the shade we saw before. I just wanted to touch base with you. It's the next day um, when I woke up in the morning. I washed my hair. I used my Bantu Yellow Out also, and that also pulled out more of the lavender tint. So I know on camera it still reads really purple, but um, in real life, and it depends on the lighting. Like in here, my lighting's kind of dim, even though I'm trying to have bright lighting for recording. Um, in dim lighting, it does read more purple, lavender. But then in like bright light, it looks silver to even like white. So I'm really happy with the results. And I'm editing the video right now, and I wanted to throw this in here. And yes, I did already lighten my eyebrows. I'll do a tutorial on that too. Do not use the regular bleach that you use for your hair, for your eyebrows. Please use facial bleach. I'll do a whole video on that. Um, I want to also say that if you do use a toner and it turns your hair way too purple, like if you're just in a situation where you cannot be walking around with purple hair, there is actually a way to correct that. And let me actually go grab everything and I'll show you. If you use a toner that turns your hair way too purple, you can actually correct that. You don't have to wait for it to rinse out. Um, I do recommend this as a last resort. If you can wait, if you can just wait a couple of days and just wash your hair you know, every day and let the purple fade out, do that. But if you're just, like I said, if you're going to a job interview and you just cannot have purple hair at that interview, I understand. Um, it's easy to fix. But like I said, last resort. <laughs> like, really only do this if you have to. So what you're going to need is you can use a bowl, a brush, imagine that. Um, you can also use, like, the little squeezy bottles with like the pointed tip that you get at any beauty supply, but I'm a big fan of using bowls, as you know. And what you do is you take any shampoo, any shampoo, doesn't have to be this one, any shampoo, you're going to take hydrogen peroxide, yes, regular old hydrogen peroxide that you can get at any drugstore, um, 3%, 3%, 3, I'm sorry, 3% hydrogen peroxide, a 2 to 1 ratio. So, for example, and I got my measuring cup, you're going to use 2 to 1 ratio. So, whatever measurement you want to use, I'm going to say ounces. 2 ounces of shampoo. Pour that in your bowl. Just pretend. I don't want to waste my stuff. 2 ounces of shampoo in a bowl or a squeezy tube, an empty one. 1 ounce of hydrogen peroxide. Pour that in. 
Then you're going to mix them together and you're going to apply that to your hair using a tint brush or if you use a squeezy tube. Make sure you're wearing gloves, of course, when you do this. You're going to leave it on 15 to 20 minutes. Hydrogen peroxide does foam up, so it's going to get foamy. That's what it's supposed to do. It's opening up the shafts. It's pulling that stuff out. But And the shampoo is what's going to be your buffer to keep it from damaging your hair too much. But that's what's going to draw out that excess purple from the um, toner. And then just rinse, of course, deep condition style as usual. So I'll probably also post this as a separate video just so you guys have that information in case your hair turns too purple and <laughs> following doing it my way. So I hope that was helpful. Um, again, I'm really happy with the results. I, I know in here it still looks really purple, but in like bright, regular, like daytime light and really bright lighting, like in stores, it looks silver to white. It looks really, I'm really happy with my results. Okay, so if you guys like this video, please thumbs up. If you got questions and comments, tips and suggestions, please post them down below. I love it when you interact with me, and I, this is, I'm always learning better ways to do this as well. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.